Hello, dear ones. It's Alice. I'm of the stars. I have a sad thing to talk about right now. It has to do with some earlier teachings I channeled uh, to sub subdue and quell the demon realm. It has to do with the fourfold curse that I found out about that was circulating on the astral planes and affecting many really wonderful human beings very much to the negative and casting them or some portion of their ethernet into the experience of the hell worlds. Uh, at that time I had pointed to th four factors that, that threw people into that realm. One was taking drugs because drugs are something that causes our soul to sleep rather than to awaken and become enlightened. And the other was taking, uh, performing anal intercourse. And I'm not sure, I was never sure why that was involved uh, in the equation because these days everyone is in favor of uh, alternative lifestyles and so forth. And I could not understand why that was considered one of the four actors in casting people into the hell worlds. And um, the third thing was, after those two things were done, to incite the person to the act of murder or some other act uh, that people are unable to forgive, that, that separates them from the mainstream of the world and from their friends and family and, and community, that creates in them a sense of being a pariah or uh, a refugee from all humanity. Um, so those three things I found on the astral realm and the dream realm somehow created a um, karmic miasmic distortion that, that created a hell world experience for these people. And there was also this issue of the Satan realm and becoming indoctrinated into a Satan cult and so forth. Um, so turning away from the mainstream of, of, of Christianity and the other major religions. Um, so anyway, I, I found a link, like a symbolic link today. It has to do with a, a, a popular item in the pop culture today, which is like a, a cross with a little spoon on it. And I found out that this has to do with the use of cocaine and that sometimes cocaine is, is surreptitiously spooned into a person's uh, anus uh, prior to the act of anal intercourse. And so um, using this, this, what you might call a, a black symbol of the Christian faith, the opposite, like black mass, a black crucifix. So um, Christ died to, to raise us up, to give us life, right? But cocaine is a poison. And so attaching something that assists in the assimilation of cocaine to, to, to a crucifix creates like a um, satanic symbol. Um, so, 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 so that satanic symbol knits together all those cords, all those portions of the prior vision that I had, um, anal intercourse, uh, introduction of drugs into the system, probably surreptitiously, without the person knowing it, like behind the person's back, you know, and uh, the Satan realm. Then this business about killing, I think it has to do with the fact that cocaine is a, um, a poison and it kills a person and somehow incites the person to project that feeling that the cells are feeling out onto other people and to go out and perform violent acts. So now I know that's the story. I would stay away from that symbol in, in any form. I would stick with the traditional Christian symbols if, if a Christian, and if not with the insignia of, of one's own faith, those that tend towards love and light and joy and peace, harmony in the world.